Alright, now Alaya Party. All matte python. Find these python shoes. So here's the deal. As I previously reported, a man was arrested for trashing some Kim Kardashian books at Barnes & Noble. Really sad story. Really freaking pathetic. A lot of people support the foolishness, the shenanigans, because they hate my girl Kimmy Cakes, Kim Kardashian. Because Queen Kim is just so beautiful and so successful. And the people who hate her are ugly and unsuccessful. And they're losers. But Kim doesn't have time to talk shit about you. But I do. And I'm going to keep on talking shit to things change. So the good people at Team Z. Did I just really call Team Z good people? Posted an article on March 8th of 2017 titled Kim Kardashian book vandal. I don't hate Kim. I hate her smut being near kids. Let me go to read to you this short article. Get my opinion. The guy arrested for trashing a Kim Kardashian book display wasn't motivated by Kardashian hatred. He just thought her book was too pornographic and accessible to kids in the store. For the record, I own 5011 copies of Selfish, and there was nothing pornographic about it at all. But it is a beautiful thing. Anyways, Carl Puia, I don't know how to pronounce this fool's name, P-U-I-A. Carl P tells us, Carl P tells us saw a mother, <laughs> I guess they meant to say he. How do, how do I keep running into articles with typos? Carl P tells us he saw, I'm, I'm adding that word, he saw a mother yank away a copy of Selfish from her young boy in the Barnes and Noble. He says it was being displayed on an eye level shelf not far from the children's section. For the record, let me just interject and say this. That boy has good taste. He knew what he was looking at. He was looking at Kim Kardashian like we all love to. That's why you clicked on this video because you love looking at her. If you say anything else, you're just lying. PUIA claims he asked an employee to move the display to higher shelves but three days later he returned and it was in the same spot that's when he decided to go back and destroy the books with red liquid for the record i love white folks i said move that shit if not i'll destroy your property interesting but anyways the 74 year old says he's no no holy roller he just believes kids shouldn't be exposed to smut regardless of what celeb is behind it. P says he only turned himself in because he got a call from police saying a warrant was out for his arrest. Thank you, Team Z, for that very informative article. Well, for the record, of course a warrant was out for his arrest. He ruined property. Let me go see what Selfish is going for right now online. Okay, so Amazon is selling her book. Some copies are going for now it's hardcover for the record. $17.15. But then the updated version with an extra, I think it's 64 pictures. Because it's a 512 page book, guys. It's going for a mere $12.22 with free shipping and handling. How cool is that? Now according to the barnesandnoble.com website, they're selling it for $17.27. And that right there is without the additional pictures for the record so they said he ruined like well like a half a dozen books right barnes and noble according to the website i don't know how much it is in stores but according to the website they're selling the book for 1727 times six copies equals 103 dollars 62 cents rounded up to 104 dollars they should make him by law have to work 104 hours a dollar per hour for free 104 hours worth of labor to pay the store back for destroying their property but that's just my opinion what's yours let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels there's a meat magazine that blocks by the account for more follow me on twitter at meat magazine meat magazine 7 on google plus meat magazine blog and instagram what do you guys think should happen to this man for destroying the property of the store. Now, a lot of you might say, well, I don't like the Kardashians any damn way. Fuck it. Oh, he doesn't get charged with anything at all. Because you think that it's okay that Barnes & Noble buys books and then their property gets destroyed because you just don't like the Kardashians that much. There are some sick people like that out there. But <clears throat> let's just be honest with ourselves here. What should happen? I mean, obviously something should happen. He shouldn't just get away with it. 
So what should be his punishment? I think he should have to work 104 hours to pay for the property, if that's how much they're selling it for. But basically, one hour per dollar. And if it goes a penny over a dollar, then yeah, add an extra hour to it. So if it was like $103.01 that the bookstore came, the total came to for all of the books that were destroyed, then I would say 104 hours, for example. Plus, you know, if you're buying the book at the store, you probably have to pay tax. So add that on there too. So let's say it was 120 even, then yeah, 120 hours. It was 120.1. I was 121 hours. <laughs> That's the type of punishment I think he should have to deal with. But this is all my opinion. Meat Magazine.